Good morning. I'm about to take the toilet paper challenge and probably eat a lot of toilet paper. Let's talk news. The FDA paid a surprise visit to Cheese Castle Inc. to test to see if their cheese was actually cheese, and it turns out it wasn't. Their noted 100% Parmesan cheese actually had a lot of filler, most notably wood pulp. Yeah, that's right, wood pulp. The ingredient found in cardboard, paper, and, uh, toilet paper. And it turns out Castle Cheese Inc. isn't just a small manufacturer, in fact, it supplies to some of the largest grocery chains in the country, meaning that you've probably eaten wood pulp. But apparently wood pulp is in a lot of cheeses, and I like cheese, but I don't think I'd really like wood pulp. But you know what? How bad can it be? So I came up with the idea for a challenge that I'm probably going to regret a lot later. I'm going to go to whatdoesetheinternetthink.net and see what the internet thinks about certain topics in the news. The options you can get are positive, negative, or indifferent. I'm going to take a guess before I check it. If I'm right, that's good. If I'm wrong, I have to eat one of these. Don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. Probably. Kinda. So the first thing we're going to look up is Donald Trump, and Donald Trump is a very controversial figure in the news, and so I'm going to get reckoned to say that, uh, people don't like him, and I'm going to say that the internet views him negatively. Uh, well, they don't view him negatively. In fact, he has 70.3% positive. Off to a really bad start. Man, this thing's chewy. Yeah, this is gonna take a while to chew. Luckily, I have some water. The trick kind of is, is to kind of tear it up into pieces in your mouth and then swallow the pieces like they were a pill. Just one piece left. Ah. My next thing I'm gonna guess is Hillary Clinton. She's been in the news a lot lately because, well, she's running for president, and, uh... My guess is that she's gonna be viewed as indifferent because there's a lot of people who view her as negative and there's a lot of people who view her as positive, and I think those are gonna clash and cancel each other out, and it's gonna be indifferent. Now time to check. Apparently a lot of people think that Hillary Clinton's good. A lot of people... A lot of people are indifferent to her too, but not as much as I initially thought. Here we go. Bottoms up. Man, this is hard. Like, really hard. The next thing I'm gonna guess is not quite on the news, but it's usually on a lot of people's minds. It's everyone's favorite political figure. Hitler. And for this one I'm gonna guess that a lot of people actually like Hitler on the internet because, well... People are really interested in Hitler on the internet for some reason. And the results are? Ha! I was right. I don't have to eat this. The next thing I'm gonna guess for is vaccines. Vaccines have been in the news a lot lately because of the fact that, well, a lot of people aren't vaccinating their children and that's causing a lot of issues. Now, I think that what's gonna happen is when I search vaccines, it's actually going to turn out to be negative because of the fact that, well, so many negative things are being said about vaccines by the people who don't like vaccines and the fact that a lot of people who disagree with these anti-vaccine people are going to say negative things about them, which, which in the search query is probably going to turn into viewing vaccines as negative. Well, this is a bit of an odd one. Apparently a lot of people are just indifferent to vaccines, which I guess is alright, as long as they don't hate them. Vaccines are good. You should probably get your vaccines. Have you gotten your flu shot? It's probably a little late for a flu shot. Anyways, unfortunately, I have to eat this. These get harder and harder to swallow. This just doesn't feel right. Anyways, guys, here's the last piece. Ugh. Anyways, next up in the news is Apple. Apple's been in the news lately because of the fact that the government wants them to build a backdoor into all their products, and, well, Apple is outright refusing. Good on you, Apple. A lot of people are Apple fanatics, so I'm gonna take the smart guess here and say that the internet likes Apple, despite there's being a lot of haters for Apple. And I was right. Hooray. Luckily, I don't have to do anything. Next one up is the FBI, because, well, the FBI is the one trying to get Apple to integrate the backdoor that so they can go sneak into your phones. The whole point of the backdoor is that the government would have the ability to go inside your phone at any given time and access all the information. Probably not the best for personal privacy. Uh, and in light of this, I'm gonna guess that the internet thinks of the FBI negatively. Additionally, the FBI and the government have done a lot of things lately that people haven't really liked, so I'm gonna say negative. Well, apparently not. Apparently people still really like the FBI, so, uh, bottoms up. This is getting a lot harder. Like, a lot harder than I originally expected it to be. Don't do this at home. Finally, the last piece. Next up, the topic that's always in the news. No, not Trump. We've already done that one. ISIS. And I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that nobody really likes ISIS. Apparently the internet likes ISIS. I don't know to be scared or disappointed. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel like meat sweats or something. I can barely swallow this. Okay, last piece. This isn't fun at all. Next up on the list is Neanderthals. Why Neanderthals? Well, apparently scientists discovered recently that Neanderthals and humans have been, uh, getting together for a long time. 
as a wild guess, I'm going to say that the, the internet probably likes Neanderthals. I don't see why they wouldn't. The only other thing that they could be is indifferent, however, I think that Neanderthals are pretty cool. Oh, thank god, I was a little bit scared in that one. Next thing I'm going to talk about is something that's kind of always in the news and something that this was basically inspired by, which is GMM. For those of you that don't know, that's Good Mythical Morning. I suggest you go check them out. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that everybody loves them. I'm really hoping. Internet. Whew. Okay, we're good. Oh, thank god. So far, so good. Next up, I'm going to look up lead poisoning because of the fact in Flint, Michigan, apparently a lot of people have gotten lead poisoning because their entire water supply was contaminated with lead. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that people don't like lead poisoning. I know the internet tricking me with ISIS, but I'm going for the more obvious solution from now on. Apparently lead poisoning is the most positive rated thing on this entire list. That's a bit scary. Bottoms up. Guys, this is getting really hard to do. I can, like, feel it inside my stomach. Ugh. Don't do this, guys. Next thing I'm gonna look up on the list is Pika. Why Pika? Well, I'm gonna explain that in a minute. Pika's a bad thing, and apparently the internet likes bad things, so I'm gonna guess the internet really likes Pika. As always, internet, you're the master of reverse psychology. Well, here's another one. Guys, I feel sick. Like, I feel really sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's all kind of, like, inside of me, and I can feel it like rocks. Uh, uh. Nope, nothing. Probably gonna have to make its way out somehow. Back to Pika. Pika is a medical condition where you eat things that you probably shouldn't eat, like toilet paper. Apparently, it affects a lot of people. Pika can cause tooth abrasions, meaning your tooth gets all scratched up. They can cause parasitic infection. And they can cause GI manifestations, like mechanical bowel problems, constipation, and ulcers. Wish me good luck. Now time for lightning news! A hospital in Los Angeles had to pay $17,000 because a hacker was keeping their computer system hostage. A hospital. God only knows what this means for the future of us because of our increase in tech dependence, but technology is a good thing. Sadly, people are going to find ways to abuse it. In more true news, way to go Medicine Hat Alberta to Canada because, well, you've eliminated homelessness in your city. This is the first Canadian city to completely eliminate homelessness. That's awesome. Good job, Canadians. And more old news that you probably already know, uh, Kanye West decided that, well, he was going to ask for Mark Zuckerberg for a billion dollars because, well, Kanye West is so much in debt right now. In order to do this, he took to Twitter. I'm going to let that sink in for a moment. Good move, Kanye. I'm going to leave you with a link to whatdoestheinternetthink.net so you can try this challenge for yourself, though, don't try it. But if you do, record it and tweet it to me because I would love to see it. If you want to see more like this and enjoyed it, subscribe and show your friends. Bye bye have a nice day.